so angry, Mom? They're not angry, sweetie. Sharks are brave. I never understood why she said that. <coughs> Especially since I thought my mother was the bravest thing in the world. And sharks? Well, they just scared the hell out of me. Okay, Rachel, you can get dressed now. We'll have the results of your mammogram in about a week. Should we find any abnormalities, I will call you. I think I'm just gonna chop them off like Angela and Julie. Rachel, with your family history, that is something to consider. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Why is it that we wait until we're told we're gonna die before we do the things that scare us the most? If you knew when your number was up, what would you do? Sharks are brave. Take a trip around the world? Maybe to an exotic land? Would you take more risks? Would you face your fears? Or just have a big party and celebrate your life that was? Well, I'm not going to wait. Hola, señorita. ¿Te gusta el natural de buceo? I'm sorry, do you speak English? Of course, yes, I speak English. So you signed up for the dive tour, is what I'm asking. No, I don't dive. Why not? I mean, I don't really like to know what's lurking below me when I swim. Jaws kind of ruined it for me, I guess. Ah, Jaws, yeah, of course. Well, you don't have to worry about that here. And plus, uh, I got a really mean reputation with the sharks. They're absolutely terrified of me. Well, I'm Luca. Rachel. It's lovely to meet you, Rachel. I'll let you enjoy your lunch. What's that for? Sweet. Don't be afraid to look inside. It's not that scary. Just don't touch the coral. Sea urchins are pretty poisonous. Lionfish are not that great either. I would not just... scary, huh? Be a step of one and not the obvious. Excuse me? Beauty lies deep. Just don't die. Where are you from? Obviously not Mexico. From the sea. A merman. Great. Uh, more like a seal. Navy seal. See you back in a Mexican minute? About three hours. Of course. See ya.
I see you didn't drown. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. I, the fish were beautiful. I saw a lot of the reef. I think I definitely saw a starfish there for a moment. That was a little weird. But uh, yeah, oh, thank you. How much do I owe you? No. Come on, let me at least give you a tip. Absolutely not. All right. Shall we? What? Dive. Uh, no, I don't dive. You cannot come to Cosimo without seeing the reef. It's an absolute must. You here alone? Yeah. No, you're not. You're with me. I'm uh, going to be your personal shark bodyguard. You'll be fine. So what are we missing? Masks. There you go. Regulate any more. And then we're gonna let out the air with the... Then we're gonna go under on this side. Just breathe, breathe. Just breathe, breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Rachel, look at me. Let go. I'm sorry, Luca. I can't, I can't do this. There's nothing to be sorry about. It's your first time. You'll be fine. We'll just go out another day. It's too weird. It's not for me. Rachel! What are you doing tonight? Why don't you let me take you into town? I'll show you around, and I promise there will be no diving, no sharks, just me, and probably a couple margaritas or beers. Yeah? You're not going anywhere. What? This is bullshit. Give me, just give me a, a minute to process this. What do you, what do you mean, Mexico? Go what? To find yourself? No, that fucking Ow, stop. Ryan, let go of me. I don't. I just don't understand. What did the doctor say to you? Nothing. I just, I have to go. Just, just give me a fucking second. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just. Baby, Rachel, don't go. It's funny that I. To leave for you to give a shit about me, Brian. Serious, your husband is a very lucky man. I'm not married yet. Uh, what about you? Are you married? You always have like a ton of girlfriends. You can tell me. Okay. Yes, I have my occasional friend, but <laughs> I have you know I was married once. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we met in San Diego when I was stationed there. And we were very much in love. Mm -hmm. Until she figured out that she couldn't handle my time away. And 
decided to leave me for a cowboy and move to Texas. That's awful. I'm sorry. It's okay. That was, that was pretty hard though. I couldn't cope, so I hopped in the car and started driving south. That's how I ended up here. I should stop ruining a beautiful night. I just drink more and shut up and <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it's okay. So what about you? Does he treat you good? I used to. I'm sorry. It's okay. Actually, it's not okay. But you're, uh, you're in love with him? In love? I think that I was. But I actually don't think that I'm capable of falling in love anymore. I think you absolutely are. Maybe you just haven't found the right man yet. Trust me. No matter how much it hurts, and sometimes it hurts like shit. Falling in love is always worth the pain. I really want to kiss you right now. So bad. My mother used to love sharks. She used to take me to the aquarium every Sunday. It was her dying wish to swim with them, actually. Did she? Yeah. It's part of the reason why I wanted to come out here. To see if I could feel what it would be like to be brave like her. face my fears, you know? Okay. The sharks are off the mainland, Playa de Carmen, about a 30 minute boat ride. You'd be there in no time. It's not what I meant. <laughs> Come on, they're not great whites, they're not jaws, they're just tiny little bull sharks. They could still totally eat me. Yeah, absolutely. Just like your plane could crash. Or cross the street and get hit by a drunk driver. Look, if I was to face my fears, I would take my chances with the sharks. Much higher odds of survival than crossing the street. Especially with the homemade tequila they serve here. I'm serious. Hello? Rachel, this is Dr. Isaacs. We have the results of your mammogram. Ah! 
we'll see. We'll see. No, 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 just, just wait just another minute. She'll be here, okay? I'm on the bus. Sharks will be behind you, sharks will be to your right, they might be to your left, they might go over your head. Do not panic. Watch your buoyancy, don't flay your arms. Keep them on the ground and just keep your body nice and still. So remember, we'll go to 90 feet, we'll level off. Just to stay calm, just remember to breathe out, breathe in, that's all you gotta do, enjoy yourself. Sharks were brave. Brave, yeah. I, uh, I would say they're brave. <laughs> and I don't think I ever saw her cry. We have a saying in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Ama el tiempo, buena cara. To me, it always sort of meant, um, and bad times make other people smile. Hmm. Yeah, she was good at that too. Ningún 
destino es peor que una vida sin amor. What does that mean? No fate is worse than life without love. Trust me. Just give it back to him. Thank you for everything. It's okay. You'll be back. I don't want to go. You are. Uh, you still have to face your fear. <laughs> no, you didn't. When my blood runs warm with the long red wine, <laughs> this the life that I left behind. Luca was right. I hadn't faced my biggest fear. Not yet. I never felt that kind of love before. That unbridled, passionate love that made all your troubles disappear. It didn't matter where you came from or where you were going or when you were going to die. All that mattered is how you felt in the moment. So if you asked me what I would do if I knew my number was up, my answer. I guess you can say that I was brave. Like my mother. Like a shark. 